What's going on, people? This is the Ghetto Investor here coming to you just to speak to you about a little something with investing in the ghetto. Now, let me speak to the people now. When it comes to investing in the ghetto, you can't believe everybody. We don't want to hear nothing about no real estate. Stop the real estate. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But like I said, you gotta learn how you have to have income and learn how to gain first. You gotta learn the you gotta learn what capital gains is. You gotta learn how to save your money first. What you gonna go in debt? That because that's what it's looking like. You gotta study property taxes a lot with that. Now, what I'm giving the people is something totally different. You can save two dollars a day. You can save your spare change. Five dollars a day. $5 a day in 10 years is $18,000. I'm not going to keep explaining it. You cut it in half. You'll be out of poverty fast. When you say, when a person say investing in the ghetto, what is he talking about? What are you talking about? What are you showing the people? Because a lot of the people, first of all, one, People patience is real thin. So to sit there, you think you're going to teach people about real estate? Real estate? Real estate? Stop it, bro. Stop it. You could teach people simple investing skills about just putting little $3, $5 that's coming from a regular bank account into an investment account that's fully diversified. That'll build you. It's going to build you with time. You let time work for you. I'm done. Ain't no more this real estate. Look, real estate is something different. That's planning. That's a whole different type of ball game. So when you're speaking in the ghetto, speak right, man. Let's start small. Let's build first. Let's build first. And I'm just, that, I, I'm just, want, I just want to be honest with the people. Save your money first. Put it into a diversified portfolio. Acorns, Mofits, Stash. They already diversified. I'm not telling you go kill yourself now. I'm not telling you to be up all day studying taxes and studying what's going on with the real estate game and, 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 and what's going on with property taxes. And how that shit could be a big liability. And how you might need real estate agents just to sell your shit. Ain't that much liquidity. I'm just being honest. I'm tired of it. Let's use our fucking mind, people. Something real like that you won't even under you won't even notice it. Three dollars a day, five dollars a day, ten dollars a day. Something that you won't notice. You're going to notice that real estate shit if it happens, something bad happened or anything happened, period. Not saying that that's what's going to happen, but I just want to explain people that shit first. Stop it, man. When you speak about real estate to people, what are you saying? What are you saying? Is everybody in the ghetto not rich? I'm in the ghetto. I'm here. I'm here. I'm by the projects. I'm by every, I'm here. So when you say real estate, what are you talking about? Thank you, people. Please like and subscribe. I'm sorry for getting hostile, but I just want people to just do something small. Just do something small. Then you learn. Then you learn. Then you pick up. Other than that, the real estate game is something totally different, people. I'm not saying stay out of it. Because it's something that's good to learn for the future. It's another good, uh, uh, how should I say, another good asset to your portfolio. If it's an asset and you know what you're doing. But other than that, what I'm telling you, investing in these little, these little uh, 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 diversified portfolio is already done for you. That people didn't have that back then. They didn't have it. Make your return. Get your money. Get your rate of return. Yeah, it's equity and goddamn uh, real estate and houses. Yeah, we know that. Well, some of us in the ghetto, since you explaining this shit. Even though I know. But to have multiple houses and to have things happening, you got to study your area. 
That if you're not rich, you got to go to the bank and get a damn a, a, a loan. So you're going to get a business loan and, 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 and then, and, and then your, your, uh, uh, how should I say, your personal got to co-sign for your business. Let's wake up, people, man. Let's get to investing in the market, in the market. Not, 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 not the real estate market, stock market. The stock market. The S&P 500. The Dow. The Nasdaq, the economy, that's what I'm talking about. Not just one. Not just one asset. Thank you, people.